So the CBC deleted Donald Trump's cameo from its broadcast of Home Alone 2 on Canadian television. Are you trying to start a war? Because this is how you start a war. <laughs> Viva Fry, Montreal litigator turned YouTuber, and no, this is not my new office. It is holiday season, which means it is family time, and I am in a house filled with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven kids. There are eleven kids in this house. Two dogs, and I don't know, there's a few parents, I hope, because I left all the kids alone. The lighting is terrible. This is going to be sort of like the Blair Witch Project of vlogs, and I'm also a little under the weather, so I don't look too good to begin with. The CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, removed the cameo of Donald Trump in its broadcast of Home Alone 2 on national television. And once again, Canada has become the international butt of jokes, and rightly so. The internet went wild, pundits were pundifying that TDS, that is Trump derangement syndrome, had reached a new low. So much so that the CBC felt morally compelled to actually delete Donald Trump's existence from the broadcast of Home Alone 2 on Canadian television. And there are just so many things that are wrong with this entire story. Now for those of you who don't know, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation is a crown corporation. It is funded by the federal government to the tune of $1.5 billion annually. And their federal funding was increased in the order of $400 million dollars under the current administration, the liberal administration, under the headage of headage, under the power of Justin Trudeau. The CBC is the Crown Media Corporation, and I've done a few videos on the CBC in the past, specifically when I was talking about whether or not there was corruption in Canadian politics. Wait, was it Canadian politics or Canadian media? All right, it was in the media. It was in the media. Man, I should really do a better job remembering my own videos. Now, the CBC is the Crown Media... Meanwhile... All right, well, is liberal censorship now making its way to Canada? A Canadian broadcaster under fire for removing this cameo of President Trump from Home Alone 2. Excuse me, where's the lobby? Down the hall and to the left. Thanks. Great part. The channel claims the movie was edited to allow for commercial time and was not political. However, the president just mentioned the movie while talking to troops on Christmas Eve. Well, I'm in Home Alone 2. And uh, sort of, uh, a lot of people mention it every year, especially around Christmas. They say, I just saw you, especially young kids. They say, I just saw you on the movie. They don't see me on television as they, but as they do in the movie. But it's been a good movie. And uh, I was a little bit younger, to put it mildly. And it was, uh, it was an honor to do it. And speaking of holidays movies, we all love those delightfully cheesy but endearing Hallmark Christmas movies, but the Grinches at Salon.com are trashing them as, quote, fascist propaganda. Right, Dana? We have to start with uh, Home Alone Hello. 2. Love the movie. Love Bet it. What, for <laughs> two better than one? I love it all. I love it. Yeah, I like two slightly better than one, mostly because when I moved to New York, then I could see all of the different areas, and I realized you know, just how special it was. I love the movie. So, yes, yeah, this, this CBC is saying when they bought the rights to the movie, it had to be made for television, and so that part got cut. But it reminds me of, do you remember when all of a sudden President Trump's Twitter account went down? Ooh. And he was the only one who was like, it's, it, it always seems to go in one direction against President Trump. It sure does. I mean, the, the whole Wikipedia thing where they changed it on the Home Alone 2, saying that impeachment, blah, blah, blah. So liberal censorship versus content editing, I don't really know, but it does seem quite convenient. Uh, Jesse, uh, Homer pulled an ad because the viewers said that they opposed the ad. They didn't like something about the ad. And then Johnny. there was an, um, a writer for Salon.com that called your end Homer of the bargain. movies, holiday movies in general, just fascist propaganda. It's time I take now here's the, the problem I have with this. Homer itself has historically been a channel back. based on religious shows. The in the last several decades, it was all you can start religious showings, and then it's gone down, 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 down. Is it really fascist propaganda to, to have? Christmas More people movies willing to in give the time of Christmas in a channel that is they desire. Mean Let life. someone else Seven carry this curse. And three You're free now. From 1992 are suddenly a After major all, talking point. The president's cameo in Home Alone 2, where he gives directions to a young Kevin McAllister, was cut from a TV version of the Christmas movie here in Canada. The Canadian Broadcasting Corporation says it was all part of a routine edit. Made in 2014. No. I'm going to own this curse, and I'm going to use it against you. Whenever innocent blood is spilt, it'll be my father's blood. And you'll find me there, the spirit of vengeance, fighting fire with fire. I will make you pay for this. The movie during a video you can't live with the US just before Christmas. It's been a good movie. No. One of the biggest. The 
Legends are a way of understanding things greater than ourselves. Forces that shape our lives, events that defy explanation. Individuals whose lives soar to the heavens or fall to the earth. This is how legends are born.